This is 18-10, uh, the third of the 18s. We'll see four of them today. Uh, once again, uh, rock back on creation on the hibachi sow, back to the so cold sow. That dam would be the dam of Jumpman and, and rock himself. So uh, a line bred, uh, obviously, pedigree. A little bigger one on pounds here, and, and I, I could project this now, I guess, looking as a heavyweight, not because he's heavier pounds today, but just the type and kind he is. I mean, his elevation length of cannon is really good, and uh, his, his, his elevation up front in relationship to his length of skull and stoutness up, up front uh, kind of fits everything. And there's quite a bit of hog there already. I mean, he'll do, actually do better once you kind of uh, uh, hand feed him on his own program and not on a feeder and kind of manage that one right on through because there's a lot of hog there that, uh, again, very manageable, heavy structured, good skulled. Um, a right kind of frame size to take you right on into the end as a heavy, uh, nice kind of a bear. A lot, <clears throat> a lot of power when you go through that rib cage. I mean, there's – you talk about ones that can probably grow and go as fast as you want them to go, but that one's got the skeleton to go with it. <clears throat> I can power him up with that extra top and that extra rib cage and that roundness of rib that he has. Uh, to me, there's a stout one that still has a lot of positives. Yeah, to me, reads like one that's just rounder in his body shape uh, all the way through, just uh, out on the corners, you know, as he comes and goes, whereas litter mates were, were maybe a, a little more immature at the ground. This one, uh, you know, probably going to be fed in a different way, maybe more of a manage the beast type scenario than his litter mates, uh, but still another very good one in his own right. Yeah, I think there's potential boar prospect in him also to keep in mind, 1810 uh, rock boar.